Everyone go ahead and get seated, get settled, grab some water if you need to, and please invite a friend and help me fill this beautiful space with even more great people. So I know I'm not talking to an empty screen. I know there's people in the chat at bringmetolife.com slash shine online. And I'm just so grateful for you. For those of you that may not know me, my name is Shannon Shine, or sometimes I go by Shantastic Shine on many platforms, and I'm here to help light up your life. So let me introduce myself just a little bit further as I dive into today's topic, because I want you all to know why I am inspired to help you find your voice too, and to co-create this whole event. So that being said, I am an artist, an author, a musician, and a spiritual channel and speaker, and I'm also the co-founder of Bring Me to Life Network. So as a soul channel and an artist, I like to use my voice and my creativity for grief and emotional processing. I host virtual ceremonies, podcasts, and spiritual communities, and I'm not only excited to be here, but I'm even more excited that you are here. So please let me know. Again, hop into the chat room at bringmetolife.com. Say hello. Give me a 222. I would love for you to just make a new friend. So working with the growth of the Bring Me to Life Network, I've found that it is an outlet for spiritual media of all kinds to be shared. And we've based this on a few core values. We want to live with integrity, to trust that we all have a divine purpose, to show kindness and respect, but also honor and protect your mind, body, and energy. We understand self-empowerment comes with self-love and acceptance. And we want to uphold the spirit of connecting with the community and unity and support. So our core values are along the lines of integrity, purpose, respect, boundaries, empowerment, and community. And we welcome you into this little portal we've created here so that you too can find your voice and activate it in a variety of ways, whether it is speaking into a podcast or, you know, writing an article anything like that. So I wanted to start this community with Silamon because I personally have grown into who I am, like many of you, through a lifetime of traumatic experiences in a series of spiritual awakenings. Who's with me? Drop it in the chat. Um, but for me, it also, it began when I was very young. Uh, it started from losing both of my parents and I lost eight people in eight years. And for a while, I started to lose my voice, but when I was four, I started speaking with angels and energies that warned me of my, my parents' upcoming transitions, and it also informed me that I would be learning how to speak with them in spirit, and then again would learn how to use my voice and my story to help others feel less alone in this world. And to some, you know, speaking to spirits or angels may sound crazy, but I continued to speak with these energies. And they helped me feel more safe. I know some people are like, oh, speaking to spirits can be scary. But this, these, these spirits, these angels, they made me feel more safe. And I even began seeing auras and things. But I learned how to push some of that aside in my teen years. And then I went through an even deeper awakening. I went into 2012 in my early 20s with an abusive relationship that was the catalyst for me going into 2014, where I met my, my current collab partner here, uh, Silamon, and we co-created the, the Bring Me to Life Network. And this hopefully where you're all tuning in. If you're on YouTube, hop on over to the Bring Me to Life Network, bringmetolife.com. Um, it's here where we've created this global community based on, you know, love, equality, unity, and peace. And I know that sounds hippy-dippy, but it's all the things that I really want to see in this world. And before we um, started going fully online, we even ran an in-person wellness center and gallery and an artist collective in my hometown. But then, you know, even though I was on my spiritual journey, I thought I had it all figured out. I had a health situation. I had a miscarriage that put me into another intense awakening period that took me even deeper. And this experience made me feel like I lost a huge sense of who I was and what my mission here could be. It kind of felt like rock bottom and it sent me on the current path to continue to share my story because I want to inspire you to realize you're not alone. So now as I use my voice to share this story, I currently focus on using my art and music as a healing practice for myself. I reconnected with my chakra journey and teachings and it even led me to conduct soul sessions 
and to create a book all about the chakras and the journey itself. And I found a lot of tips and tools and things like that that I wanted to share with others. So I found a way to do so. This is part of my voice. In soul sessions, I, I help others find a way to communicate with their higher self as well as transition souls or spirits. And I specialize in helping people through the grief process of trauma and losing loved ones, children, or, you know, taking pain and giving it a new purpose or a voice. Because again, I don't want anyone to feel alone or lost in their missions. It's why I'm here to help you find your voice and to share your story too. I see you in the chat. Keep them coming. Thanks for being here. See, sharing all this, it isn't about an ego boost for me. It's about healing and connecting. And I want you to realize how alone or how not alone you really are through this chaos of life. And you see, I used to be really afraid to show up in my own energy, especially with a sense of peace and confidence to me, because I felt like everyone around me was judging me. Have you ever felt like you were just being judged for no reason? I'd love to see that in the comments. I bet it would blow up. I feel like we've all felt like somebody was judging us. At one point, I felt like a lot of people felt sorry for me because, you know, I kept going through all these hardships and people had a hard time, you know, communicating with me. So I decided to show up and dedicate my life to holding space for others to be seen and to be heard and to find a deeper sense of connection. In that chakra emotional processing work, what we're, which we're about to dive into, that's really what helped me. So coming from this life of many traumatic experiences and much lost, my voice, my art, my creativity, and my story have empowered me and many others. And I've used it as the source of healing and grounding to build resistance through the trials and tribulations of the everyday life. I found the more that I share with people, the more people are willing to relate to me and open up. I want to hear their stories because it creates a circle of growth and support. And when done in a way that is, you know, able to hold space for others, it creates such deep connections. So usually in my workshops, I find a way to go through a discussion on a bit of all of the chakras from an emotional space, but that's what my book's for. You can go find that because today we're going to talk about the throat chakra. If you want to check this out, I have a little reminder, see a little play for us later. You can find it at shantasticshine.com, bring me to life.com shop. But right now we're going to focus on our throat chakras. And this does mean your voice, but it also is how you express yourself out into the world and how you express and handle the truth. So if you're here right now, you probably are looking to find your voice in a bigger way. We all have truth or a story to share, and sometimes it's scary. And sometimes we feel unworthy. Sometimes we feel like maybe our story is not as hard as someone else's story, so who am I to share it? But you are meant to share it. There's a quote that goes along the lines of, speak the truth, even if your voice shakes. I believe it's by Maggie Kuhn. And this is a quote that helps me remember to always speak my truth to the best of my ability. So let's talk about that for a moment. How do you typically express yourself and your truth? Are you someone who communicates clearly? Or are you someone who maybe avoids communication or difficult discussions? I personally am all about trying to face the difficult discussions in most situations. And sometimes that takes time, you know, so that the air can be cleared and growth can be had. But where I struggle with this the most is my own family and people that are closest to me. I'm really good at it with friends, clients, but family, you know, I sometimes struggle to communicate. It's like something inside me just shuts down and I assume I'm not going to be heard anyway. So why does it even matter? But it does matter. It matters so much to be heard. And I've come to the conclusion that if, you know, I can't get it out with my voice, then maybe I should write it down on some paper. Do something with it. Give it to them. Bury it. Burn it. But regardless, it has to be expressed with the universe and get out of my body so that I can feel lighter and continue to, you know, show up in the world. Finding ways to communicate clearly is so important. It also affects how we learn and accept information. Do you know if you're a visual or hands-on or maybe just an auditory learner? Maybe you can read something and figure it out easily. I know I'm someone who likes to see how something is done and then figure it out for myself. 
I typically don't follow written instructions very well as hearing and seeing them, which is why I'm excited to be offering you a video. But I also do my best to hold space in other ways as well, because I understand everyone learns differently. Do you know how you learn and process information? Hop in the comments. I would love to know. I just want to know how you use your voice and take in others' voices and how you best receive information. While we're talking about the throat chakra, I also feel inclined to tap into how we handle secrets. Most families or groups or communities, they have some sort of secrets or personal information of some kind. And family secrets can create a lot of stress or pain on an individual or even relationships. And it's important to set boundaries of what kind of information you wish to be the keeper of. Because, you know, again, secrets can be harmful at times and they can freeze up your throat chakra. I found people with too many secrets or, or dealing with a lot of lies are often wanting to keep quiet because it's probably hard to keep everything straight or easier to just not face the truth. So my next question is, how do you handle the truth? Are you someone who prefers the whole truth and nothing but the truth? Or maybe you're someone who prefers to not be hurt constantly. You don't handle rejection well, so you don't mind if somebody sugarcoats things so you can understand or take it in better. Maybe you find yourself avoiding conversations where you know, you know, you might not get your way easily. But here's a secret. Avoiding discussions, it doesn't serve anyone, especially when there's a voice that deserves to be heard. So how do you tell the difference between speaking your truth, the truth, and accepting others' truths? That's a tough one. Because many people will say there's only one truth. However, there are many people's perspectives of that truth. What I've seen happen in a situation is very likely different than what someone else sees and catches in a situation. So we also all have these many discussions happening in the world as we navigate the roller coaster that is currently life and everyone's spouting off their opinions and trying to persuade each other one way or another from masks to protest to equality and beyond. And we have to remember to speak our truth and use our voice and seek the truth, to stand up for what is right, and to also honor our own experiences. And that's a whole lot to do all at once. But if you don't stand up for what you believe in, what is your purpose in being here? That's a big question. If you're just gonna sit back and be an observer, that's your choice. But wouldn't it feel a lot better to find a way to activate your voice? It's important to process things clearly, to touch yourself in areas that are hurting you, and to, especially if it's a harmful communication or a hidden story that you're just sick of being a part of, don't let people gaslight you into their belief system. You don't des deserve that. You deserve to have your own experience, but also deserve to be respectful of others because people's lives matter, your life matters, and people deserve to share their truth too. It's okay. I just wish everyone could share that truth in such a respectful way. It's important to hold discussions and create bridges for growth. It's a lot of stress to have to be keeping everyone's secret stories and opinions straight all the time and to have to censor yourself or someone else or to be someone else. So I'm here to remind you to remember who you are and to honor it. So that being said, who are you? What is your story? How can you give yourself a voice in the bigger scheme of things? Hmm. Everyone's story matters. And your voice really does deserve to be heard. If you're someone that has been through a lot, and honestly, who hasn't been through a lot at this point? It's up to you to find out how you wish to share your story and inspire not only others, but to feel fulfilled yourself. Now, some people choose to be quieter than others, and that's a choice. But if you're here to activate your voice, I really want you to feel into what you want to be sharing. I want you to think about the things that have inspired you and the talks that have changed your life, big or small. Maybe you want to start a podcast. Maybe you have a story to share to share and you are ready to show up. Let's do it. You can reach out to me or contact us at Bring You to Life and we can help you launch a podcast on this network too if it's in alignment. We would love to work with you. That's a beautiful way to share your voice. Podcasting for the last seven years has given me such an empowerment to my throat chakra. 
I feel so seen and heard. Even if one person listens to that, I know that it inspires more than that one person because that one person will go and share something. And that's powerful to just show up and to have a space that you can share your voice. While we're here, another thing the throat chakra processes for us is anger. Hmm. How do you express things when you're upset? Hmm. Are you someone who holds a grudge or do you let things go easily? Most situations differ for everyone. And I used to be somebody who would never let things go, especially with my partners and my family. However, a wise old man once told me if it wasn't going to matter in 10 years, then it likely wasn't worth being mad about for more than 10 minutes. It definitely wasn't worth going to bed upset over because that could be more harm than good. You never know who's going to wake up in the morning and trust me. I found people the next morning and it's a tough thing to face. So it's important to air things out. Try to figure out your anger and communicate it clearly. Not by throwing things and stomping around, but by sitting and taking a breath for a moment and figuring out what it is you're upset about and communicating it in a way that makes sense to others. Make sure people know you love them. Make sure people hear your truth. I do my best to mend bridges before lying down at night. And yeah, there's still people that I don't get along with and I may never get along with, but I try not to hold grudges in the same sense. I've been building very strong boundaries as to what nonsense I let into my day-to-day world. And I love my friends dearly, but some of the people I used to call close friends for a while kept letting me down time and time again. And I would get hurt. It would hurt my confidence. It would hurt my voice. I would stop speaking. And in the long run, it would push me back a few steps from any sort of progress I believed I had made in the meantime. It's important to find ways to share this voice very clearly. And some of us are so shy, we don't communicate unless spoken to. Believe it or not, this can be me at first, especially if I'm in a new or uncomfortable crowd. And until I get my energy regulated to the room or an audience, I can be quiet too. But that being said, once I get my comfort zone, I find ways to start communicating. And I found that, you know, compliments, they go a long way in settings where you feel uncomfortable. It lets you gauge the room, find that voice and see how people are gonna respond to you. Plus it makes people feel good. And usually you can find something to compliment. It's just a nice gesture to open up a conversation. That being said, again, the throat chakra, it's controlled by truth and it can be blocked by lies. Not just lies you tell others, but lies that you may tell yourself. It may be something along the lines of, I'm happy in this relationship, when really you're breaking apart inside, or I don't care what they think, but you're dressing up for their approval, or the overly used, I'm okay, when really you're not okay. You need to process. You're looking for someone to share with. You want to voice your feelings in a way that you feel witnessed, but you just say, I'm okay. Maybe instead say, actually, I'm having a rough day. Do you have a moment? They might say, no, I'm in in a hurry, but at least you've tried. You're not just keeping it all inside. I feel like I've covered a lot already, but the throat chakra, it has a lot to go along with it. Your voice, again, is not just how you speak, but it also deals with your outer appearance as well, how you create, how you show up, how you express yourself with clothing, accessories, and art. This is all part of our self-expression and our voice in this world. And I want to see you show up. I know I've personally shifted my outer appearance quite frequently from my gothy punk teenage years to my business attire, early twenties, where everyone needed to take me seriously to now I'm just more of my own little rainbow fairy persona that I must say makes me feel the most me. It's taken me about three decades to get to a point of just being into my most divine self because my family would have never allowed me to have rainbow hair growing up. And typically my hair is much more bright blue and purple than it is right now. My family also hated that I wore mostly black clothing. I was a simple jeans and t-shirts girl for most of my life. And I've come to the conclusion, there's really just no way to please everyone. So why try to please anyone but myself? If I'm comfortable, I'm happy and I'm not offending anyone. As long as you're not intentionally trying to cause others pain, I I it's okay to follow your heart. Dress, show up, feel comfortable in your personality. 
Many of you probably also have a hard time with family or friends, as especially as you started to step into your true self. I know that this is by far the hardest area of communication for many of us, and our voice often begins to get quieted the most by them. And you know why? Because we can't control them at all, yet we often feel obligated to caring for them because they're our family. Well, here's the thing. They're going to think and act however they please, and so are most people. So what can we do? We inspire them. I invite you to inspire them. How do you do that? By being the best dang version of you that you can be. If that doesn't please them, then really all you can do, loves, is focus on not allowing their opinion to weigh you down. And instead, let it fuel you. Because more than anything in this world, I wished my family would say they're proud of me. And sometimes they do on a very rare occasion. I sometimes wish that just everything I did would please them and excite them. But even me, as motivated and as determined to be there for the world as I am, I often don't get that emotional support from the people I wish would care the most. So you're not alone. Sometimes that's the cold, hard truth of life. Some people don't know how to show up. Maybe they're jealous. Maybe they just don't understand. But honestly, you know what? I think that is what, in the long run, just pushes so many of us, or at least me, even harder to show up here in the world. To show up like this for all of you right here, right now, and to find ways to use my throat chakra to communicate and hold space for all of us to heal in this journey. I know I'm not alone. I can feel how many of you too are looking for that community, looking for ways to activate use your voice, activate your inner weirdness, and to find comfort in it. So let's talk about some ways to heal your voice. First, take a step by communicating how you really feel out loud. You can do this in a group or with a safe, supportive person. And that's why I'm here. If you would like to work one-on-one, -on -one, you can find more about me at shantasticshine.com or bringmetolife.com or reach out at shantasticshine wherever you find me in the interwebs. And the cool thing is, is I'm not here to diagnose you like a therapist. I just want to have space where you can unravel this intense spiritual journey and we can communicate. I can share some of the tips and tools that have helped me and others along the way. Other ways to activate your voice are speaking to friends and communities, sharing your stories in groups that could use your support. Be a leader. Open the discussion so that others feel welcome to share, because as we share, we inspire others to do the same. Some more ways to tap into that voice and expression could be making and designing your own clothes, writing a book, or even a poem. Fun fact. I love writing poetry or rhymes, especially if I uh, feel a need to release something I can't get out, or if I feel there's a message that needs shared in a unique way. I actually wrote a little something during all this kind of crazy Rona nonsense, and I do feel inspired to share it. It makes my heart kind of beat fast getting to this part. But you're all here, so I might as well, because I know if I share, it just may inspire one of you to share too. So if you feel guided, you can close your eyes for a moment and take in this message I channeled a few months ago. Mm. Here is your reminder that we're all angels of light, shining oh so bright, showing up within us through the fights as we're rising up and not giving up. We're glowing up but not growing up and we're dancing in the leaves, we're hugging all the trees, we're feeding all the bees, rising the vibration of all the realities, reminding the Earth's children that we're here to be free, to be the best us that we can be, you see. It's all about the vibration, rising up and taking over the nation. Come on, fam, and join the ride as the train's about to leave the station. We're not hesitating, just liberating. Remember what you're shining for. Remember what you're riding for. And that there's no sense in all these people out here dying for because be yourself, not a heartbreaker. Instead, go out there, bring things to life, be a dream maker, be a risk taker, shake things up, make them scream like a vibrator. Oh, whatever you do, please tell your mom you don't hate her. Scoop her up and thank her for being such a caretaker. And if you're like me with no mom to thank, that's okay. Mama Earth, she's got your back and that's a fact. You've got unlimited resources for you in your knapsack. So don't run just yet. It's almost the end of my track. I want to let you know 
The universe has got your back. Remember that each and every night as you hit the sack that you are one loved being. Let that be a feeling as you sink into your sheets and you begin dreaming. Spiritual mic drop. Mm. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed that. It's a little more edgy for me to share those writings with all of you. But sometimes things like that, they just kind of flow out of us onto paper. If you allow yourself to explore it and to do so, I would love for you all to share some of your writings. Feel free to share in the comments below or hop on over to Bring Me to Life Community, which is our group on Facebook. You can make a post so that others can cheer you on as well. I want to keep moving though. <laughs> I do want to get to a quick meditation for everyone if we have time, but I think this discussion is so important. Another major way to open your throat chakra is chanting and singing and sharing. And I want to invite you all to sing today. Actually, I want you to sing every day. I want you to sing one of your favorite songs and just do it. I know many of you are joining me from all over the world, and some of you know me, some of you don't, but my name's Shannon Shine, and my favorite song is This Little Light of Mine. And I bet you you know the words to that song, too. So right here, right now, you can join me in a little song. It's a song I feel everyone should know. So that being said, I don't typically sing on camera, but I started uh, doing so a little bit more as I started these videos a few years ago. And now I find myself singing a little more frequently. I might not be the best, but who cares? It brings me joy. So I'm going to sing this song and this little verse two times. And I want you to sing it with me, okay? If you know, you can join first round. And if not, that's why we're doing two. So take a breath. Here we go. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine. Yes, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. And now you can join me. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, yes, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine for you and me. Mm. I feel like some of you did that with me. And didn't it feel good? And if you didn't do it, then you're missing out. Because one of my favorite things to do is to just blast music, especially in the car, and literally just let loose. So I hope if you didn't join me here that you will release your voice in some way, somehow today. Please. Please sing a song. Please find your voice. Please share your story. I know that's a lot of info, and now that I've allowed myself to be a fool and to open y'all up, I hope you feel inspired to use that voice in a deeper way. I know we have a few moments um, before our next workshop, so I do want to see you hop into the comments. Let me know how you're feeling today. Did anything I say ignite something within you? I'm going to take a moment here to breathe, let you all tune in and then we're gonna take a moment and we're gonna do a little meditation i'm gonna do a meditation because i want to help you activate even deeper mm. someone said that this little might light of mine was their grandma's favorite song it was one of my grandma's songs too it's one of my mom's and my grandma's favorite songs and it's one of the reasons i'm named shannon shine actually I was singing this little light of mine at a, um, it was actually a church event when I was six, when I found out that my, my mom transitioned. And anytime I heard that song after, it reminded me that I had a light and I needed to share it and shine bright. And that was one of the reasons that I went through all the experiences that I did. I know a lot of people don't like the phrase, everything happens for a reason, but I've had some dark things happen. And I've always found a bigger purpose for them. It's been a powerful journey to learn how to sing again, to learn how to speak again, to learn how to use my voice again. If y'all have a favorite song, please drop it in the comments. I'd love to check them out. 
I know I'm so excited for the rest of Shine Online event. So whether you're watching live or catching the replay, I know there are a handful of amazing workshops and musical performances that you'll want to make sure to check out from astrology to play shop, sound experiences, and more. Make sure to catch them all. But first, let's get comfortable. And let's begin breathing nice and deep. You can do a little hum or an ohm if you choose as you exhale each breath to get that throat chakra moving. But close your eyes and get comfortable and take a nice deep breath. Mm. And as you get comfortable, I want you to think of how you use your voice. How do you show up in the world? Are you ready to be a light? Are you ready to shine bright? I want this time together to help open up your communication and to tap into your higher self, to enable you to listen more deeply and to communicate clearly as you show up in this world. Mm. Breathing releasing. Remembering communication moves energy from the inner world of thoughts and expresses them out into the physical world. As you've started this journey, you're opening up. You can ask yourself, have you been clearly communicating with people around you? Have you been sharing your truth and standing up for what you believe in? Have you been listening to others enough? And are you expressing yourself, your truest self? Take a breath in. And exhale, working with your throat space and activating that divine truth. It will assist you in improving your imagination and creativity as it's also connected with your self-expression. So again, breathe in, breathe out. A blocked throat chakra stops the flow of energy from your heart. And it can keep you from connecting with your thought process and your spiritual guidance. Releasing any of these blockages so that you can begin to think things through properly. It's here we can breathe through all of that pain, fear, frustration, trauma. Open up to activate your voice. And share your story. Take a nice deep breath in. And now, I want you to tap into your story. Something you're passionate about. What are you passionate about? What are you passionate about? When your throat chakra is open and balanced, you're able to properly process ideas, hopes, and dreams and draw them into your life easier. Breathe in those hopes and dreams. Allow them to become your reality. Remembering as you continue to breathe deeply to tap into who you are and why you are here. What kind of impact do you want to leave in this world? Do you want to be an artist? Do you want to be a speaker, a lover, or a freedom fighter? Is there something happening within or around you that makes you feel more alive or even just more awake? 
we all have a bigger purpose. And sometimes it isn't always made clear and that's okay. What's most important is to step more into who you are and who you wish to be each and every day. Now, as you take a few more deep breaths, step into that being that you wish to be. Feel that voice get stronger. I want you to feel your voice activate throughout your body so it is radiating and glowing as you allow yourself to wake up and shine on. Now, if you feel guided, repeat after me. I will use my voice to speak my truth and honor who I am meant to be. I will use my voice to speak my truth and honor who I am meant to be. I will listen to others and hold space for growth so that the divine truth may also be seen, heard, and spoken through me. I will listen to others and hold space for growth so that the divine truth may also be seen, heard, and spoken through me. Breathe that in. Breathe that out. Feel your whole body radiating that voice. So much so that your presence is also a part of your voice. Just your being and your willingness to tap into yourself. To show up even if you don't speak at all. Allow that energy to shift the room in a powerful, positive way. Take a moment to breathe in again. And as you exhale, send an invitation to all those that need it to also feel this frequency. Sending that out in all directions, calling in your soul tribe. I can feel you all out there. And it feels so beautiful. When you're ready, take a final breath and then begin to wiggle your toes and fingers. And whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes and come back to the physical realm. I'm just going to give you all a few moments to join me. Let me know in the chat that you're here, that you're back. How was that for you? I see some new faces or new names, I should say, in the chat room. It's so good to have you all here. So grateful for all of you. How are you enjoying Shine Online so far? How are you feeling? Drop some love in the comments. I feel guided to say thank you for anyone who's already made a donation because donations are always greatly appreciated, though never expected. They help us feel extra loved as we do what we do and I get to send little happy dances. So fun fact, every time we see a donation come through, I send out a Reiki blast of love. So here's a happy dance for all of you and your donation of time of just being here today. I'm so grateful to see people popping in, saying hello, making a friend. Y'all are great. I love it. Thank you. Thanks for donations. Thanks for donating your time, your energy, your love. Mm. Y'all are wonderful. While you're here, I also have a few journal topics for you today, or just mental things to think about if you'd like to do them. 
So grab a journal if you wish. I will actually pop these in the chat. Let me see here. I did write this part up. Bam. Step one. What are some things that you think or feel but have never expressed to anyone? I want you to journal about that. Also, step two. What is something that has been said to you or in general that has inspired you to be a better person and why? I think these are two really good questions to meditate on. What inspires you? What inspires you? Mm. Would love to know in the chat. Just giving everyone a few moments. Hello out there, I see you. See you in the comments. Someone said they're thankful for words of inspiration and motivation to help them reflect on what actually is important to them at this time in their life. It's encouraging them to know it's okay and to know they can finally take the time to explore a lifelong desire to develop artistic skills. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. I love when people take power of their creativity. I create art and I try to create something every day. It makes me feel more alive to bring things into a physical reality. I think that's powerful. Who else out there in the comments? Just checking in. Someone says it inspires me knowing you and knowing you're out there with such a deep drive bringing healing empowerment to others. Thanks, Lori. Lori was actually our beautiful singer in the, the music video before my workshop. Has the Riff Raff Collective and is surrounded by so many amazing beings. Someone said, sometimes I worry the universe isn't really listening. Mm. And that literally everything Kristen has ever said has inspired them to be a better person. That's beautiful. Kristen's going to be doing a play shop here in just a few hours. I'm so excited for that. You know, I used to wonder if the universe was listening to me. I used to get really sad and angry. I used to pray a lot to a God that I didn't understand. And it was when I started believing in the universe as a being of power and not of, you know, a specific gender. <laughs> you know, like there's not just some sky daddy up there judging me, but instead there's this magnificent energy that has given us the power to exist here in this world, to be present, to be mindful. And sometimes I'll, I'll test it too. I'll be like, universe, are you listening? Send me a sign. So one of the ways I found my voice outside of this physical world and into the spiritual world is by creating a dialogue or a glossary of sorts with spirit so that I understood how it was speaking to me. Because a lot of it comes through symbols and synchronicities. When my grandma was passing away, I asked her some different signs. And one of them was roses. So when I see roses, they inspire me and think of her. Some of them were cardinals. One day, Sila was reading a book. And the book said something along the lines of asking for a yellow butterfly as a sign. He said, I'm going to look for a yellow butterfly. I said, it's the middle of November, December. This was a couple of years ago. I was like, you're not going to see a yellow butterfly in the winter. He's like, I'm going to look for it. I said, okay, I'm going to look for one too. If spirit's listening out there, show me a yellow butterfly. And then I kind of forgot about it that day. But later that week, I was having a quite a, a shintastic meltdown of sorts. Um, I believe it was actually around when I was going through a lot of medical problems. And I was like, why me? Is this, am I going to be okay? Like I had so many questions and it was so frustrating. And I went out and I laid in the woods and it was cold and all the leaves were off the trees. 
I laid down in one of my favorite little fairy portals and I stared at the sky. I remember closing my eyes and I wanted to cry and I was just like, I just want a sign. Spirit, universe, whatever. Sky Daddy, if you're out there, something, somebody listen to me. I want to know. Give me a sign. And in that moment, I can't say that I specifically asked for a yellow butterfly, but in my heart, I knew I would know what the sign was. And I kid you not, guys, I opened my eyes and I stared at the tops of those trees. And at the very tippy top was a yellow, what I believe to be a butterfly. Of course, I questioned it. And I was like, is that a leaf? What is that up there? And I watched it float ever so gently through every little branch to the point that in my reality, it was not a leaf. A leaf couldn't have done that. It would have smacked into something. But the butterfly so elegantly can fly right through all of those obstacles. And I stared at it and I watched it until I could not see that thing anymore. And to me, that was a sign. That was a sign that spirit was still listening. I've asked for many different signs throughout my life. So many that it would take me hours to sit here and share them. And every time I think it's not listening, somehow spirit shows me a way. So I invite you to maybe find your voice through spirit. Connect with spirit and create a dialogue. Create signs and symbols. Some people use angel numbers. Certain numbers mean certain things. Whatever works and inspires you. I believe something's listening. Something is out there that forces me to keep going. Or trust me, I'm sure many of us would have tapped out by now, but there is something bigger out there. Hmm. Someone said they saw a blue butterfly yesterday. Blue butterflies remind me of my aunt that passed. So that's, that's another sign for me too. I have different signs, different colors, different things, depending on the message. But something else I feel guided to share is I know many of us sometimes feel afraid. And if you're feeling afraid, I want you to remember something. You were born to shine. Actually, I have a quote for you. I have another quote for you today. A quote that has really driven me to shine brighter. This is a quote by Marianne Wilmanson. And it goes along the lines of this. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light and not our darkness that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? But actually, who are you not to be? Because you are a child of God and your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine, just as children do. We were born to make and manifest the glory of God that is within us, and not just in some of us, but it's in every one of us. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. And as we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Mm. automatically liberates others. I know as I show up here, I'm giving you all an opportunity to step in because if I can do it, then that's a testimony that you can too because I believe in you. And sometimes that's all it takes is a little bit of belief in someone to see them go even further than you've ever seen them before. So I wanna see you shine. I wanna see you shine. If you've made it this far with me or you're just tuning in, Hop in the comments. Give me a 222 so I know that you are here to cheer me on. I really hope you're out there making a new friend at bringme2life.com. And I want to thank you all. Thanks for shining on with us.